Here we have a great book on proof writing. It's called Introduction to Mathematical Structures and Proofs by Gerstein. And you know, all of these proof writing books, they're all a little bit different, but I have a lot of respect for books like this because they are trying to help people learn math, trying to help people learn how to write proofs, which is a very, very hard thing to do. Uh, proof writing takes a lot of practice and you know, people go to college, you know, like me, for years to study math and they come out learning to write proofs that that's that's the goal that's one of the big goals is that you learn how to prove things because in math you know there are two things really there is proof and there is discovery and uh typically we're focused uh on on the proof right on um, proving things that other people have discovered that's what you typically you do right and then discovery that's coming up with you know new math this is larry gerstein university of california santa barbara Really nice. I believe this is an older edition. I'm sure there's a newer edition now. Yeah, this one is from 1996. Yeah. This is a textbook for a one-term course whose goal is to ease the transition, correct, from lower division calculus courses to upper division, linear and abstract, real and complex, number theory, topology, etc. Right, right, right. So, you know, most people will take Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, maybe some differential equations. And then they jump to like some, you know, proof-based linear algebra. They're like, whoa, you know, prove that T is a linear transformation. How do I do that? And understanding the structure of proofs is critical to understanding mathematics. A lot of people have a really hard time uh, with that. And this is a book that is intended to help uh, correct that. So it starts with logic, which is a very good place to start because you need logic to understand uh, some of the stuff with sets. Um, so logic is key, and then we have sets, which is perfect. Good order, Mr. Gerstein. Functions, really good place to go next. I like that um, the author puts a, a section or a chapter on finite and infinite sets, permutations and combinations. Nice transition. Number theory, and then there's some hints and partial solutions. So different books on proof writing have different amounts of topics. Some books... Uh, we'll have like um, some abstract algebra here. Some will have some, you know, advanced calculus, analysis proofs. Uh, Gerstein just covers these topics here. And so it talks about some stuff here, some statements. Yeah, really well written. Let's look at some of the exercises. There's the exercises. So one, two. These are pretty simple. These are on, on statements. How many do you have here? 15. Yeah, 19. Okay, now let's go to the back of the book and look at the um, solutions, see how many Gerstein gives us. So that's uh, 1.3. So I'm going to go to 1.3. So 1.2, 1.3. Yeah, a couple, quite a few. Yeah, there's, there's a decent amount of uh, solutions to the exercises. And you see there's explanations and stuff. So, you know, there, there's a lot of knowledge. They don't give you all the solutions. Um, yeah, so they usually just give you some in books like this, but... Yeah, it's a good book. Um, I think if you're looking for a book to learn to write proofs, it's worth trying this one. It's, right? it's worth getting it. Um, I am a collector of math books, and I always think it's cool to have lots of math books. So I, I recommend this one. Again, it's the one by uh, Christine. Take care.